Hello, my name is Ruth Charles and I'm the author of two books, Focal Dystonia Cure and Free to Perform. And these books, both books have an exercise called the Attunement Repair Exercise in them. And this video is to answer a very frequent doubt or question that I have around this exercise. So it's true that uh, at the beginning of or before the exercise, I do say that uh, some people, or you may even be able to distinguish in your body right down to the level of uh, bones, tendons, uh, ligaments, nerve endings, um, and some people can, uh, but not everybody can, and it's certainly not necessary in order to be able to be doing this exercise really effectively. So um, this is one of those exercises that's really easy to um, overthink. It's actually much more simple than most people think that it is. Um, and that can also, that can sometimes make people feel that they need to be doing more um, with it. But it's actually a very, very simple exercise where you're just really coming right in and engaging and inhabiting and being able to feel the sensations that are held in your body. Um, so what I would encourage you to do is to not try too hard with it. You know, this is like trying to remember the, a name. The more we try, the, the harder it becomes. I would uh, encourage you just to have this more open, soft, warm, gentle, um, curious mind, uh, mindset, even a playful mindset, and just explore whatever you find. And complete acceptance of what you find. I mean, it's one of the messages that I say frequently through, throughout the exercise, and that is whatever you're noticing is perfect for you today, however much or however little that is. And so as you just consistent with this exercise and keep doing it daily um, over a period of time, you will start to be able to notice what's going on inside of your body enough to be able to then move on to the further stages. So you will find on page 89 a set of questions that will just let you know whether you, page, sorry, page 89 on the focal dystonia cure, which will just let you know whether you're ready to move on to the next set of exercises um, in that book. Um, so what's also interesting is that we are attuning back to the body, but you also have the opportunity to attune into some of your mental and emotional patterns. You know, so if you find that you are trying really hard or you're being really demanding with yourself about thinking, I should be able to do this better. I should be able to feel more um, or I want to be able to feel more than anybody else is able to feel. Then you, you're really getting some very di good diagnostic information about um, your mental and emotional patterns, what I call in free to perform the adaptations that we make that take us out of flow. So, um, the, and in the focal dystonia cure, the stage four of the process, which is where we do nearly all our work in which releases the focal dystonia, it's your attunement to and self-awareness of those patterns that we're working on. And that's what's going to release your focal dystonia. And then within the free to perform book, that's really, you know, that the, the book is very much like putting stage four of, um, under a magnifying glass. So the whole purpose of the free to perform book is to be able to really understand all these different adaptations that we have created in response to our life experiences and how to release them because those adaptations are keeping us out of flow. And as we release them and we learn some other flow exercises, then we really can get into flow in our life in general, but particularly in our performance. So I really hope that this has helped you understand a little more about the achievement repair exercise. And please let me know if you have any further questions. Thank you for listening.